All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. We are live in Newport. It is darkening quickly, Corey. Uh, as we look up at the sun, there's just literally a fraction, a fingernail yes. of the sun you can see. It is getting dark. Like, dark, like it is, it yeah. is dark outside. Dark right now. and cold, and I'm not sure if you're able to see as well on camera, but man, yeah. it's almost like goosebumps that you're oh, getting yeah. right now uh, in the path of totality. I mean, there's just a small, small sliver. Maybe we could take a yes. view of that sun uh, take a bump and, shot and show you what, what that's looking like here from our solar camera because it's so, going to yeah, be just a sliver there. Just seconds. Yeah, I mean, we're a minute and 53 seconds away. And we're gonna literally watch over the next little bit. And I will say, like, we're so right now. There's a little bit of a breeze because uh, it's getting so cool right now. Like, we can feel a breeze yes. right now because that shadow is starting to move on us. Um, and like, it, it's actually getting a little bit windy right it now. Is. It's. Uh, I mean, it, it. It was almost 80 degrees yeah. earlier, and now I'm just <laughs> a little chilly. So it's crazy to watch. Uh, but I mean, we're just literally 90 seconds yes. away from totality, and, and this is the moment that people say is so so incredible. The crowd is ready for it. They're going to have a countdown here yes. in a couple seconds. So we're going to hear everyone get excited or he'll probably hear some cheers, some oohs, some ahs. Yeah, let's, let's, take a, let's, let's take a look, another look at the sun here. Yes. Uh, and if, if we could just stay on that and we'll show you for a little bit as this happens. Uh, this is the moment of totality here. Just about a minute away from seeing the And I will say, so we moment. can point the, the camera this way. You can see the, uh, you can see Venus next to the, the sun right now. And you can also see uh, the shadow out towards the other side of the sky. So if we can take our, our uh, crowd shot right now, we're going to point that at the sky, do like a, a wide shot. We can see it, um, we are about to be here in just a couple seconds, but the shadow like, is moving over right now. It's like dusk. Let's be let's be quiet horizon. for a second because they're going to have a countdown. Wow. It is about 30 seconds there is away. There's silence here. right now. Wow, man, this is happening quick. <laughs> wow. And here we go. If we can take the other camera too um, of the sky. Wow. We're getting there. Oh, and we got the diamond ring right Man. now um, on the edge so we can see the, the last bit of the sun. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, Man. 5, 4, wow. 3, 2, 1. And we can take wow. the filter off. If we could take the other uh, take off, take solar off. camera, please, the uh, the, the Arkansas <laughs> shot. We're looking at the Memphis shot right now, but if we could look at wow. the, the uh, we have a <laughs> it camera is dark. shot. You can see our uh, shot yes. right now. It's All right, pitch let's black. Take the, let's see if we yes. can take the, the shot of the we, sun again, the yeah. ring around the sun. <laughs> if we if we could take that art of the uh, sky wow. shot here in Arkansas, man, this this is we're looking at a picture of Memphis right now, uh, which is obviously can, not as spectacular as what we're seeing here. All right, we're going to wait and see, but man, there is a white ring right now across the sky. Wow, we can see I wish the planets. See this. Man, it's literally pitch black out here. And you can see Venus and Jupiter in the sky right now. It is amazing. It's literally, it's literally jaw yes. dropping, and can you can take, see how. Can we pitch take black our other camera as well? This is right now. Can we switch over to that camera and, and take the the wide shot? Wow. Of the sky. And again, this okay, so is we the should moment. Have, we should have the shot right now if you guys there will we go. There we go. That so is what we're seeing. That's a picture yes. of what is happening here. <laughs> so Man. we're seeing that that's the atmosphere of the sun that we're seeing right now. That white is called the corona. And that's the atmosphere. We never see that unless the moon's in front. So this is above us right now. It's amazing. Wow. My goodness. And that's that spectacular view that <laughs> literally everybody just talks about. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's worth it's worth it. And we're seeing right now actually one of the, the airplanes flying over, probably one of those Delta flights uh, that, that is in this. And we're going to experience about three minutes of this total eclipse. And man, I mean, you just don't have words. It. <sighs> It's crazy. And you can see, so the very bottom right there, you can see, like, I've, I'm pretty sure it's a solar flare at the very bottom, yeah. like a prominence, that red that yeah, we're seeing. So that's like part of the sun, like, coming off the surface. So right there at the very bottom of your screen, you've got that brighter dot. That's what Corey's talking oh. about there. So and fireworks cool. are going off in Newport. <laughs> They're celebrating this one, I'll tell it you what. It is literally night outside right uh, now. Maybe if we could take Ashton's camera just to kind of show the sky. How, I want to get back to this shot here can, pretty quickly, but yeah. just to show you how dark it is uh, as we look at kind of a wider view of the sun. Okay, so and there you can that's see. That's what the entire sky looks like for us right now. So this is a live picture from here in Newport, and Ashton's going to zoom out for you and just show you just how, I mean, it looks like <laughs> sunset on the horizon, man. 
and the sun just about to move off of uh, the moon about to move off of the sun. Wow. And we can probably, yeah, let's, yeah we'll take a look back at that one. Uh, as we're going to see this total eclipse start to end here, we had about three minutes of totality, and that is unfortunately wrapping up. I will say, so we're in a, a cool thing about the sun is it's in its active phase right now. So this corona we're seeing is, is much bigger than a lot of other eclipses. So we're really getting a treat. Um, that white that you're seeing off the sun there. Wow. It is, it, it's and enormous. And you mentioned, Corey, those brighter spots right at the bottom. And Probably we're starting to see Bailey's beads back. So that means we're ending eclipse wow. right now. So there you so see we're, that bright, we're look at that. Man, wow. <laughs> So that's the end of the eclipse right there. Yes. The total eclipse. So now at we're least. getting back to the diamond ring phase right now. Wow. You can see it on TV just like we can. And this is the time if you're in totality, you've you got gotta put to glasses. put your glasses yes. back on. <laughs> wow. So now that eclipse is ending, and again the glasses come back on. Corey. Ooh, my heart's racing a little bit. Wow. That was that was fun. S some Bonnie Rate playing here in Newport know. seems very fitting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the end of the eclipse. I don't want to forget now that we've seen totality. Uh, Memphis experiencing yes. their maximum eclipse right now. Uh, Chief meteorologist Danielle Moss. Now that our eclipse, I mean, it's getting brighter here really quickly. You can see it almost looks like a sunrise I know. right like, now. Like behind us, it's dark. You can yeah. see it looks like storm clouds. With, that's the shadow. With how much brighter it's ha it's coming out. <laughs> It looks like we just came up from behind a cloud. That's crazy. Uh, but Danielle, uh, if you're ready, what, what are you seeing over there? It's got to be a great view for you, too. Well, I'm, I'm telling you now, right now, Trevor, that it is definitely noticeably darker and cooler as well. I put my glasses on. I'm looking at you right now. But if I look up, it's definitely absolutely amazing. Um, it it you can barely see the sun. Uh, we're not going to be at 100% totality like you all are, but it is definitely getting darker out here. In fact, you can also see that some of the lights are cutting on in the parking lot here at the college. Yeah, you can go ahead and show that as well. And we're seeing people come outside of the hospitals, outside of Methodist, um, and are just enjoying the moment. Um, you can see that the lights inside the building, it looks like dusk. The Goodyear sign on their building is turning on as if it's the evening. Um, the temperature is, is dropping. It's not cool out here. It feels absolutely perfect, to be honest, because it was a little bit warmer. But this is absolutely cool. I'm putting my glasses back on, so I won't hurt my eyes. But if you take a look up at the sun right now, or if you're seeing our sun bump shot right now, you can see exactly what we're seeing here in Midtown Memphis. We're not going to have 100% totality once again. We're only going to have 98, but it's still very, very cool. And you can see the impact of it across the atmosphere as far as the temperature is concerned and as far as how dark it is outside. Um, to be honest, right now, it, it looks like five, six o'clock in the evening. Uh, but it's not. We are literally in the middle of the afternoon and it, it feels nice outside. But I will say that even though we're not going to be completely dark outside, you need to make sure you're wearing these glasses. You do not want to hurt your eyesight. I mean, the slightest just oversight of wearing your glasses when this is happening could cause some really permanent damage. So it's very important. You can see some of the students leaving because once again, we are at 98% totality. So we're really close. In fact, it is uh, almost uh, two o'clock. It's two o'clock now. Uh, 205 will be it's pretty much our complete totality right now. So if you want to put your glasses on and look up and enjoy it, do that. But like I said, do not look at that sun with your naked eye. Sunglasses are definitely not going to be enough. You need the solar eclipse glasses and we are at the perfect place. Uh, Southern College of Optometry provided all their students, their faculty and the patients that came to the clinic today. They're out here as well enjoying this eclipse and now I'm starting to feel kind of a breeze in the air uh, because the sun is going down. It's getting chilly. It's very evening like right now at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, if you're looking at our sun bump shot, uh, I'm sure that you are seeing exactly what we're looking at. But I'm going to toss things back over to Newport, Arkansas, where our meteorologist Corey Smith is there standing by.
uh, some of the folks that were out here watching it uh, dressed for the part. So uh, can you give me your names real quick and where you're from? Uh, Kristen Smith from right here in Newport, Arkansas. Nicole McCain from Newport. All right. So can you guys like talk about what just happened, you know, the, the, the excitement and, and, and really the, what you guys were feeling when you are watching that? You know, it really was amazing. I know it, we knew it would be cool, but there was just no anticipating what it really was. How you could still see the sun behind it and the kids were just so excited. I mean, it was really awesome to be here with our families and friends and get to experience this and have all these visitors in from out of town joining us. So we're, we're really proud and it was it was a great time. It was fun. It was fun to watch it with our kids, be the excitement of Newport, show everybody what Newport was about. And then, so uh, now I, I need to ask the question because the viewers are wondering whose idea was it to dress up like the sun and moon today? This is actually our friend Sally Pinkerton's idea. Uh, she's not here today, but these were these are her original ideas. So go Sally. <laughs> so so what would you say for people who weren't able to get out to, to uh, totality? The next eclipse in the U.S. is going to be 2045 that's visible here in the 48th state. So now that you guys have experienced it, you know, what is your pitch to people who maybe were out in Memphis watching our coverage uh, to get out to that path of totality. I mean, yeah, I'll be dead by then, but you know, you should do it. <laughs> do it. It's not what, what we expected. It wasn't like a sunset. It was. I know, it was totally different. Watching how things got dark, it was not at all like a sunset. It was it was really weird and, and beautiful, and it's absolutely worth the travel. Well, uh, you know, you heard it from them. Uh, just an amazing time out here. We've had a lot of fun. It's been like a party out here, right? Just yeah, absolutely. The music, the dancing. So uh, we're going to send it back here real quick uh, with what we got next.